from the Excel Center here in downtown Hartford, Connecticut. This is Fox Prime Time Move, where tonight Rick Petito brings his St. John's Red Storm into town to take on the national champ, Dan Hurley's UConn Husky. Connecticut, St. John, Soriano Johnson in the circle, toss of the tap, and it's controlled by the Red Storm. And what should we pay attention to early on in this game? Defensive rebounding, in particular by the guards of UConn. The St. John's team hits the board extremely well, second in the nation in offensive rebounding. As for St. John's, they beat Xavier 81-66. Conasecca Arena in Queens on Wednesday. Up top. Spencer, the Rutgers transfer. Scored a season low 60 points for the shoot. Inside. Samson Johnson. Dribble alive. 10 to shoot. Arabata with position. Nice catch. Nice pass. And he'll bank it down. This is something I think is a mistake early for St. John's. You got to let them touch it. And Spencer, nice curl, two-hand flush for Sam Johnson. Blocked the shot, dropped it nicely off to Johnson inside. And the ball the gets to the hole and knocks it down at point blank range. Back door, nice look. They kick it out. And this time it's Solomon Ball. Tough place to play here in Hartford. 15,654. Top of the yard, Ledlow. This save may be his best player. Dingle to the basket and the former Ivy League scoring champion. Dingle the other way. Inside, nice look, Soriano. Sealed his man and banks it down. They led by as many as 10 on Wednesday against Seton Hall. Early in the first half. Now Johnson with the teardrop and it goes down. Yeah, great relocation that time by Johnson. For John Calipari. Connecticut the other way. Come on, oh, that head up and in. Here's Dingle to the bucket off the glass and in. More concentrated effort on the defensive end, passing and rebounding from his position. Baseline and good. Cam Spencer dribbling, eight to shoot. They go inside, jump hook up and down. In the game that we play today. And as we said to him, at the shoot around today, after finding out that story, oh, you're the reason basketball is like this. <laughs> Mission accomplished that time by St. John, keeping the ball out of Ben inside. Beautiful. Soriano. Once you seal, put it there, catch, finish, right over the top. This is why I'm saying that you establish Soriano inside. Even if he doesn't get the shot, Gus, he's going to track. 5 6 to play. Back door, Again, trying to find a shot, gets to the bucket. In the air, and good. Cam Spencer. St. John's in a zone. I like it. I like it. Inside, Jackson! Jam with two hands. Back and forth right now, some plays being made in this game. You help up top. Jenkins on the Euro, behind the back. What a play! For the catch, finish inside the dead, in the spirit of giving. Jenkins just He's such a sweetheart of a person. Spencer driving on the baseline, hangs in the air, and it block, gets it back, banks it down. 6:25. He has six, but St. John's answered, and that's R.J. Lewis. And him, in particular, being on the road in the halftime. Jenkins all the way to the basket. Matador defense by the Huskies. Now Spencer. Nice dunk down. Blocked by Soriano. St. John's. A minute into the second half playing excellent basketball. Spencer. Pure. Cam Spencer. Inside. Soriano. Nice catch. They get to him. Spencer with a hand on the ball, Newton the other way, in traffic, off the window, cut it on the foul. 
UConn on a 6-0 run. They've trailed by as many as eight. Inside. Jamming it with two hands is Samson Johnson. You take your time, you execute against the team, you get the crowd back involved. Samson Johnson able to get it in the benches, love it again, the execution. This is Big E's basketball at its best, John. To take a 36 to 34 lead inside, let them outside Jenkins. And rattled it in. Beautiful read and replaced on the court for the Huskies. Castle, seven to shoot. Caravan, and knocks it down. Ball has to move, because once it moves, and that's Caravan in the, on the weak side, I'm sorry, that is able to get it, and that little miscommunication on the ball when you have two that close. Eight to shoot, Newton drives baseline, tight roping, pivoting, in the corner, Diara rims off, and Dingle is there, can't hold on, batted out. Spencer Well, it's been a lot of talk about how great of an offensive rebounding team this St. John's Red Storm are, but it's been UConn that's been able to get their hands on second opportunities or foul in that instance. Here's Spencer again. Nice look inside off the glass and in for Simga. And Connecticut takes a five-point lead. Ledlam drops that baseline off the glass and good. Now Jenkins, five to shoot. Jenkins off the glass. Somehow he kept control of the ball. On the road, guys, I think it's better for them than closing out a game on the road. Lewis. Ten to shoot. Johnson back in. He slips. Here comes Joe Tate. Wham with two hands. The empty corner. Two like he may have traveled. Yeah, he did. Two players for St. John's. The, the bottom man, you have to be able, edge of four has to be able to communicate. He did travel early. What you going to do on that pick and roll? Jenkins, a lead. Baseline jump shot good for Jenkins. Diara pops out, curls. Samson Johnson having a career night up top. Newton, bring it up. Stayed out of the way. Castle. Drive. It's field goal. Taylor on the pogo stick. Squirts out. Jenkins, extra pass. Dingle. And it's good. Taylor a three. Shot for Clint Taylor Jr. New double cut it. No. Gets his own rebound on his backside. Diara, the kick, Newton. And tipped up and in by Castle. Go in front. Hesitation, Newton to the hole and in. I know dangerous. He could have picked up his fit. Castle the other way. And one. For Jim Jackson, this is Gus Johnson saying so long from Hartford. You've been watching Fox Primetime Hoops. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas, everybody.